Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to convert your BSc thesis, your BSc project, to a research paper. Now, um, a research paper is usually between 5, 8 to about 12 pages, and um, your thesis, your BSc project, research project, at times, maybe up to 40 pages or 100 pages or even 200, depending on um, the intensity of what you research as uh, an undergraduate. And so, to begin to extract some of the information you have in your BSc project and convert it to a paper could sometimes be a very hectic task. And so, in this video, I will be teaching you, I will be showing you how you can extract the introduction, extract the methodology, extract the results and discussion, and make a beautiful paper for journal publication. Now, uh, a journal, a typical journal paper should have about um, four or five parts, the abstract, the introduction, the methodology, the results and discussion, and of course, the conclusion. And so, how do I get to extract that? Now, this uh, video I'm, this I'm going to show you, it's um, going to work if your BSc project uh, was a very um, thoroughly researched work. And so here I have a well-researched well work, thoroughly research, has all the part, has chapter one, has um, chapter two, where there is a, an intensive review of uh, literature, has chapter three, has um, this chapter two, has chapter three, has um, details, very detailed review of literature. In chapter two, chapter three, it has the materials and the methodology and um, diagrams are well labeled. The equations are uh, well outlined. It's a theoretical paper. And so uh, it has a, a well of um, mathematical derivation it has computation of um, a particular method it has um, i mean everything the chapter three is well detailed well detailed all of the optical properties that is calculated the formulas it's given there is chapter four for results and discussion uh, the tables are well outlined um the visuals plotted are also well stated uh, there are very beautiful beautiful tables of um, results and um, i want to see if the references are well detailed um, okay i feel it's chapter five discussion and uh, conclusion okay the references it has about 100, about thereabouts, about 90 something different references. So, this is actually well researched. About um, 107 or 108 references are contained in this work. So, it is a well detailed research um, BSc work or a BS work in physics. So, what do I do to convert this? to a research paper like i said this is premised on having a well research um project if your thesis was well researched then you can convert it so easily to a beautiful paper to do that i would need to make use of the beautiful part of chat gpt yes i'm going to use chat gpt to convert this to a paper let me show you how let's get there okay so i get to chat gpt and uh, the first thing i want to do is to upload that project work into the chat gpt space and so i'm going to just click on the upload uh, the document the bs project is already in my download so i'll just open it into chat gpt uh, wait for it to load up and the first question i need to ask i need to follow the way i prompt this carefully if you want to get it right first question is to ask if this ai model understands the upload so i would say uh do you understand do you understand the 
attach document you don't want you want to be, to be sure that the model understands appreciates every part of the document so that's going to be your very first prompt you want to be sure that this model appreciates the content of what you have just uploaded and so you say yes i understand the content of a document it focuses on the investigation of the effect of core shell radar variations on finement energy and optical properties of spherical scandium selenite zinc sulfide quantum dot the document includes theoretical modeling mod um, numerical simulations and a comprehensive analysis of the impact of these variations on quantum confinement effect energy levels transition energies and um, optical properties relevant to optoelectronic applications and so it understands the work appropriately okay so i'd say i wish to convert this work to a research paper in the i m r o a d structure of um, about uh, 12 pages of about 12 pages can you do this conversion in in section or in steps any of the words that work with you in steps so i'm gonna hit that yet you don't need to bog the model with plenty questions just um walk it through that the best way to use an ai model is to walk it through walk it through ask steps question questions in steps so that it on its own begin to unravel the things you want it to do if you allow the ai take lead with your directive questions you would get the best out of an ai model especially such models that are generative like chat gpt like the meta ai like um, google gemini you, you give them leading questions your leading questions would help them give you the very best of their abilities and so without even asking this model has given me an example of um, of a, a an abstract now let's begin to ask it important questions so i want to use on to extract the the meth the introduction so i would say um extract the introduction part of the okay um extra introduction part of the paper using the details in chapter one and two now the introduction the introduction should the introduction the introduction should contain five uh, five paragraphs oh, it's too much uh, let's say four paragraphs four paragraphs of um the importance of the research um overview of previous research overview of previous research the problem statement the problem statement the problem statement or research gap research gap and um, um how this research how this research fills fills the gap fills the gap overview overview of the method use method slash technique if you like technique and um, i'm gonna hit on okay and this work is going to do that for me this model it's going to 
craft for me a very beautiful top a uh, very beautiful introduction is going to leverage on the content of uh, my work okay so there it's go it's crafting for me it's creating for me an introduction for a research paper it's leveraging on the content of my chapter one that was my introduction and my chapter two that contains my uh, literature review and so i'm going to look through this now there is something missing in this there's something missing in this it did not include citation in my work in the project work there are careful citations so i would say um this introduction didn't include the citations in the attachments rewrite with the citations in apa so it's going to do that rewrite for me this time is going to extract alongside the different citations we had in that work there you go these are the citations we had in the original um thesis it is extracting it now and it's doing that it's carefully extracting it and arranging it in the way it should be and so i have the introduction part of my paper i could, could simply copy this and take to word document and i have the introduction and so next i want to um uh, i'm going to say from chapter three extract the method section carefully and thoroughly you need to be sure that this model is giving you exactly what was in your uh the attached work you have attached into it so it's going to do exactly that for me because i have said it should be careful it should be thorough in extracting the method section now it may not be as uh detailed as um it should be but it's going to give me the basic extraction and um, they usually the method section of um, a thesis and the method section of a research paper may not have uh, so much difference and so this is just giving you an outline it's just giving you what it should be it, it's also within your responsibility to go and extract it properly extract all of the work you had in your methodology and take to your paper and so here it goes this is what it feels i should have in the methodology section it has carefully that carefully brought out the theoretical framework it has listed the um, numerical simulation it has uh, mentioned the potential profile i'd use yes this was the exact profile and uh, it has mentioned how the different things should be calculated and there you go so if it is not adequate you can go ahead to extract all and make it a very beautiful work next i would say um extract the results and uh, discussion from chapter four of the attachments and it's gonna do that it's gonna extract the result and discussion from the chapter four of the attachment it's gonna it's gonna do even the graph it's gonna give you the visuals it's gonna extract the table if you want of course you can just copy the table and the visuals but it's gonna give you an overview of what your results and discussion should be you it will now be your your your, your business to lift the 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 visuals the tables from the project work to the research paper and as simple as that you have created a research paper out of your bs project or thesis work as simple as that your gpt can help you do that go and try it out